Hey y'all, this is Tyler Blake from TylerBlakeArt.com. I am still alive for those of you, you know, the seven or eight of you that were following my videos before. Um, I am kind of looking at this as a relaunch of my YouTube channel. Um, <clears throat> I, I had posted about this quite a while ago, but um, I, I was, you know, working on building the channel and I developed a condition called optic neuritis. Uh, where my optic nerve on my left side became inflamed and I went blind in this eye for a while. Um, I can see again, but I have a permanent haze on this side and sometimes I have to wear an eye patch because of double vision. So if y'all see me wearing an eye patch, don't freak out. I didn't get attacked by ninjas probably. Um, it's just something that, uh, you know, comes up from time to time. So, um, I am, this is day one for me of my undertaking of the 100 Days of Making Comics challenge that was started by Kevin Cross um, sometime in the past. Um, since, you know, since he started it, he began it as a personal project and it's grown into a kind of a big thing since then. And uh, my friend Scott O'Green at I'd Rather Be Drawing told me about it and then I, I started kind of looking into it and I, I thought, yeah, you know, that, that is something I want to do. I've, up to date, I've done one uh, little mini comic for fun and right now I'm working on a short comic um, that I just started on that um, was written by my brother, Chad Blake, and it, it's called Killing Them Softly, and it's set in a, I guess you could call it a dark fantasy, and um, I'm not going to give you the whole storyline right now, but basically you take a story about what happens when you have um, an organized crime syndicate and you have a member who wants to branch off and start his own thing and maybe uh the people he used to work with don't like that so much so they send somebody to have a little chat with him so but it's in a fantasy setting so um right now i'm working on figuring out uh, where i want to have the page breaks um and uh just you know figuring out what's going to go where on on pages uh, my brother has been working on this this uh, fantasy world that this is set in for some time and we're gearing up to and we actually did do one kickstarter that before we really knew what we were doing for his first novel and we didn't get funded so we kind of went back to the drawing board and he he decided to just keep developing his ideas for a little while um while i am going through the comics launch course that's put on by tyler james um and I, i'm just kind of learning how to develop an audience because I, I'm an old-fashioned guy I'm kind of a technophobe and so I, I just never really got the whole like social media online marketing how to make a living as an artist today you know nowadays thing so um anyways I am figuring out page breaks and I'll be uh starting on my thumbnails here pretty soon I'm, I'm using some thumbnail templates that I got off of um Scott Circlin's website over at Circworks Art Labs. So, Mr. Circlin, you rock rather hard. Yes, rather hard indeed. Um, I, I, I really dig the free comic starter kit. So if y'all haven't checked that out yet, you should... You, you can find it on his YouTube channel or go over to his website and, and download that if you're a creator that uh, would be interested in that. It, it's, it's pretty sweet. So, anyway, um, I'll just be posting a short video every day talking about progress and when I get into where I have some things to show I'll be showing some little bits and pieces and when the comic is complete it will be available free to subscribers to my email list um, my website is tylerblakeart.com and um, there's a pop-up form and there's also a landing page on there where you can sign up for the galactic council of Tyler Blake art fans so um, if you want to read the comic when it's done you can sign up there and I'm also uh, working on some illustrated short stories not comics but just just uh, short stories that have illustrations interspersed throughout and these are like public domain classic horror stories like the monkey's paw um <clears throat> the facts in the case of m valdemar things like that so uh anyways i will be back here tomorrow and i hope you all will enjoy this and i'm gonna go check out some other folks's 100 days projects see you later bye